Rod McKenzie is Manager and Director of Policy and Public Affairs at the Road Haulage Association. Morning to you, Rod. Good morning. What's going on here? Things changing for the better? Well, it's, it's terrible, isn't it? Uh, you know, nine out of ten lorry drivers, according to one survey, uh, rarely or never have access to toilet facilities during work time when they're doing deliveries. Now, that's wrong, and as Steve Bowles has just told you, the uh, Health and Safety Executive is clear that is uh, completely uh, against the law. So let's be clear. Um, it's a basic human right to use a toilet. You've been driving for four hours. Uh, you need a pee. Why shouldn't you be able to where you're doing a drop-off? It's simply intolerable. Why, why are they refusing the lorry drivers the use of the well, facilities? I don't, I don't understand that. Well, Mickey, I mean, I've, I've uh, followed up on some of these complaints that we've had from uh, uh, truckers, and I've named and shamed companies that have uh, refused toilets, and I continue to do so. Uh, but, but the reasons they do so, to answer your question, are varied and one of them is oh, we had a driver last week who made a mess so we've decided to uh, ban drivers well that's pretty pathetic well that can uh, be anybody well exactly and uh, a a another one is um, you know the toilets are just for staff well y you know look at the health and safety guidance if you're saying that um, and uh, you, you know the, the, the variety of excuses all of them pathetic it has to be said so who would you want to see making changes on this? Do you feel like there's somebody out there who can say to the, these places where the, the drop-offs are happening, you have to, sorry, you have to do this? Well, what, what we tend to do uh, is to phone up the management of the uh, company that's refused access to a toilet, and we point out the health and safety uh, rules to them, uh, and they tend to say, oops, sorry, uh, uh, we'll, we'll have a word with the staff. Uh, so then we keep an eye on it, and in very many cases that actually does work. But it's quite labour-intensive phoning up every every company that's being reported to us for refusing toilets. Mm. Uh, you know, guys got to get over it. These people are helping your business make money by delivering things that you need as part of your supply chain or to sell to other people. Mm. My, my daughter's... My daughter yeah. said she found it more of a problem when she was a bus driver because some of the terminus that she ended up at had no facilities and she would often, and she said often, have to go in to the loo in the bush. Yeah. I yeah. mean, well, is, is that a case for lorry drivers that there are no facilities in some instances? Well, clearly, uh, if you've got to go, you've got to go. And one of the issues, I suppose, then is that a, to uh, a trucker will, will find a tree or, or whatever uh, nearby and then be spotted by uh, somebody else. Um, and, you know, there'll be a complaint about them uh, using sort of unsanitary conditions, which is also wrong. But you know, it is absolutely part of the law now that we have to provide suitable and sufficient sanitary conveniences at readily accessible places. I'm quoting the health and safety executive. And uh, what used to be the case uh, years ago isn't the case now. And, and I think these companies have just got to move with the times and understand that you, apart from anything else, you can create serious health difficulties by not going to the loo when you need to. Mm. You can get kidney infections and a, a variety of other complaints. And Steve Bowles told us about the problems that slightly older men can face. So, um, you, you know, th it's wrong that we're talking about this in this day and age. Absolutely. Well, Rod, uh, thanks for coming on Wake Up to Money today to talk to us about it. Um,